Welcome back. You're watching Primetime News. Mourners bid farewell to legendary jazz musician Dr. Philip Tabane. They emphasize that he put Mamelodi on the world map with his indigenous sounds. The founder of the internationally acclaimed Malombo Jazz Group was laid to rest today. Dr. Tabane died last week. He was 84. Jazz heavyweights celebrating the legend's life. Artists like Dorothy Masoko, Abigail Kubega, and poet Don Matera paid moving tributes to Dr. Tabane. His family says he inspired many musicians. His music has crossed borders and genres. These are groups in Europe that have adopted the Malombo sound. Tabane is also remembered for his deep love for the African culture and the Sibedi heritage. There was also a call to preserve his legacy. We will then work with the provincial government in making sure that this legacy of Tate, Dr. Philip Tabane doesn't die. Jazz lovers went down memory lane as they put foot to music in honor of the musical giant. Then, a final farewell at Tabane's last resting place as other living legends remembered him as a musical giant who discovered a unique sound. I'm happy that he's going to tell the others that we're all coming. The greatest sound that has ever come out of this country. And, uh, and what a wonderful person, so what a beautiful soul he was. He was one of a kind and he lived like one of everyone. He was one of a kind, living for everyone. His fellow band members plan to honor him through a tribute concert in August this year. We wanted to do that in his hometown, Mamelodi, while he is still alive and something went wrong and he missed out in a big way. We'll do some of the stuff with his son, who also plays Malombo drums. And now, as Tabane rests here, his legacy will live on through a cultural hub to be launched in his name soon. Patricia Fasahi, SBC News, in Mamilodi, Pretoria.